2022 has been a pretty shocking year for football fans. So many prominent figures were suddenly taken away from us too soon, including NFL athletes such as Jalen Ferguson and Jeff Gladney. And now as the year comes to an end, one more has joined them, the Bengals assistant coach Adam Zimmer. If you want to know exactly what happened, stick with us. Anyway, let's get right into it. First things first, NFL in mourning after Bengals assistant coach Adam Zimmer dies at age 38. Adam Zimmer, who served as the assistant coach for the Cincinnati Bengals, passed away. He was hardly 38 years old. The NFL team announced the upsetting news in a statement on the 1st of November, shocking football fans all over the world, specifically the statement reads, The Bengals are saddened to learn the devastating news about team offensive analyst Adam Zimmer. The statement also included a personal message from the team owner, Mike Brown, who paid respect not only to Adam Zimmer, but also to the assistant coach's entire family. The Zimmer family has actually been involved with the organization for 15 whole years up until this point. And Adam's own father, Mike Zimmer, had been a long-serving NFL coach himself, who had a history of his own with the team. Mike Brown beautifully also added that the father and son duo were more than just coaches for the team. Quote, they were friends. He ended the statement by sending his thoughts and prayers to the Zimmer family. Next up, let's talk about the circumstances of his death. Adam was living in Minnesota while he was working for the Bengals the day he passed away on Monday, the 31st of October. The Mendota Heights Police Department received a call for a welfare check around 1 p.m. according to police chief Wayne Wagner Jr. But by the time police officers reached Zimmer's home, he was already gone. And while we don't have any details about exactly what happened, Wegner also shared that his office is, quote, not investigating this as a suspicious death. For now, the Hennepin County Medical Examiner will be working on determining a cause of death and making an official identification. Moving on, let's talk about some of the saddest and most shocking deaths in NFL in 2022. Unfortunately, Adam Zimmer isn't the only personality within the NFL and football world who breathed his last this year. Fans have actually had to mourn many surprising deaths in 2022, and this includes NFL athletes like Jalen Ferguson and Jeff Gladney. Here are some of the saddest and most shocking deaths in the NFL this year alone. First up, we have Jalen Ferguson. Back in 2022, the Baltimore Ravens confirmed in an official statement that their outside linebacker Jalen Ferguson passed away at 26. They described him as a kind, respectful young man with a big smile and an infectious personality who was taken away from them and the world far too soon. Jalen's agent also reflected on her client's sudden in death. In an interview with NBC News, she described him as a wonderful young man who was full of love and life and, while he was definitely an amazing football player, she shared that he will also be remembered as a great father, son, brother, and friend. The Louisiana native who was drafted back in 2019 was, according to reports, found unresponsive and then later pronounced dead with no signs of trauma or foul play. Authorities responded to a call in northern Baltimore, but even until now, we don't know what exactly exactly the official cause of death was. The news was shocking for everyone, but especially for his fiance, Donnie Smith, with whom he had three children. Two daughters and one son, it's even sadder knowing that the athlete had celebrated Father's Day with them just a few days prior. Next up, Jeff Gladney. Hardly a month before the tragic news about Ferguson, we got news about Jeff Gladney back in May 2022. The NFL athlete shocked sports fans all around the world when he died in a car crash at the age of 25. Not too soon afterward, the Arizona car Cardinals made the official announcement on their Twitter, calling his passing a tremendous loss. The Texas native was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings back in 2020, but unfortunately became a victim of the fatal accident in Dallas. A lot of condolences for the family and thoughts and prayers were sent their way. After the news broke out, and his cousin, Sharon de Francois, shared her own reflections about his passing with the WFAA, she shared that not only was he loved by everyone, but his trademark, the thing he was known the most for, was definitely his contagious smile. Coming up, Antonio Dennard. This one was especially tragic and hard to hear. During his NFL career, Antonio Dennard played for the Green Bay Packers and the New York Giants, but his life had met its end too early. The athlete was just 32 years old when he was killed in a shooting back in October 2022. According to a local news outlet, WFMZ, Dennard was pronounced dead after being transported to the nearest hospital after the incident occurred. It actually happened right outside of a bar in Mule Muhlenberg Township, Pennsylvania. The death was immediately ruled a homicide 
homicide and a police investigation was launched swiftly afterward. Following up, Gavin Escobar. Gavin Escobar was hiking with a friend in the San Bernardino National Forest this year in September when something went horribly wrong. The former Dallas Cowboys tight end was later found dead in Southern California after what has been ruled a rock climbing incident. Escobar was just 31 years old when this happened. Now, for Paul Duncan. On July 15, 2022, the NFL bade goodbye to yet another precious player, Paul Duncan, who had joined the Denver Broncos as a free agent, was actually out running when he suddenly went into cardiac arrest. Then one day later, his wife Ellen Duncan made the tragic announcement sharing that Duncan had been pronounced brain dead, and that they will be having a medical examination done to understand what exactly might have caused his death. Duncan was just 35 years old. He shared two daughters with Ellen, six-year-old Dylan and four-year-old Sloan. His obituary made special reference to him embracing the role of a girl dad, sharing that he built playgrounds in the backyard for them and even did their hair before school. Ellen also shared that Duncan's body will be donated to people who need organs and medical research. Moving on, Tony Siragusa. Tony Siragusa, also known as The Goose, was a former defensive tackle who became one of the game's biggest players and personalities. He played a major role, especially in the historic 2000 defense of the Baltimore Ravens, which went on to spearhead the franchise's very first Super Bowl title that same season. But other than being a legendary tackle, Siragusa was also known for his spot-on sense of humor as well as for being a prankster. And while well, at 55 years old, the former athlete had more time than some of the other unfortunate players on this list, he did pass away a bit too soon in June this year. The news was confirmed by Siragusa's broadcast agent, Jim Ornstein, who shared that Tony was more than just his client. He was family. We have no word on what might have caused his death yet. Up next, Marion Barber III. On the first of June 2022, former NFL player Marion Barber III was found dead in his apartment. He was just 38 years old. This was just a few days before his birthday on June 10th. According to the police spokesperson, Joshua Lovell, someone had alerted the police to a water leak in his apartment. And so they decided to conduct a welfare check on him, which was how they ended up finding his body. The Minnesota native attended the University of Minnesota, where he played college football for them before being drafted into the NFL by the Dallas Cowboys in 2000. And while he was just the team's backup running back, Barber established himself as a gritty, determined player who specialized at breaking tackles. He was named to the Pro Bowl in 2007, a remarkable accomplishment for a player who wasn't even part of the starting lineup. After retiring, Barber struggled with his mental health and also dealt with more than his fair share of legal trouble. The exact cause of his death had not been revealed to the public as of yet. Finally, Shane Olivia. Shane Olivia, a former player for the San Diego Chargers, passed away in March 2022, he was 40 years old. At the time, not much was known about what caused his sudden death, but three months later, E! News reported that the New York native passed away from hypersensitive heart disease, and that obesity had played a factor in it too. Olivia developed a painkiller addiction while playing in the NFL and entered rehab in 2008. He eventually admitted to taking 125 Vicodin tablets per day at the height of his addiction, spending about 500 $84,000 on pills alone. And that's a wrap for this video, my friends. Were you guys fans of anyone on this list? Please let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.